different points of view Guess I'm trying to keep, trying to keep my back Hey what's going on guys, my name is Lee and today I'm going to show you how to make your animations in Adobe After Effects smoother. This works for most versions, but for this tutorial I'll be using After Effects 2017. You do not need any plugins and there will be none used in this tutorial. All we're going to use in this video is the keyframe assistant option and the graph editor. Both of these are built into After Effects. As you can see my workspace is edited and yours will look different to this. However, the things I'll be using are in their default position. First off, you're going to want to make an animation. I will show you the process of making a scale effect, the first keyframe being 0% and the last being 100%. Once you have your animation, simply hold left click and highlight both of these keyframes. Then what you want to do is press F9. As you can see, they should turn into an hour timer icon. However, if they don't, what you want to do is make sure they're selected, right click one of the keyframes and go to keyframe assistant. Then you want to click easy ease. As you can see, the animation will be a lot smoother. And now what we could do is edit them even more and make them smoother. Make sure both of the keyframes are selected and then click this icon here. This will then take you to the graph editor. Once you're here, what you want to do is go to the bottom and select the first option on the left. Make sure you select show graph editor set and show selected properties. Once you've done that, click the second one and select edit speed graph. Once you've done that, you can now select the keyframes and drag them around however you want. There are endless options for this, but I'm just going to go over some I use. The first one is the most main one and that is when you select both of them. What you do is hold shift and drag this one to the middle. But you don't want it completely in the middle, you want it just a bit before the middle. And then with this first one, you want to hold shift again and drag it all the way. It honestly depends on the animation and not all of them look good with this. The other one I use a lot is by highlighting them. What you do is just drag this M1 to the beginning holding shift. That will make it start off fast and then gradually get slower. It's a lot better if you make the keyframes further apart and that will make it a bit slower. So to do that just click this graph editor option again and then just select this one and drag it a bit further. As you can see that makes it a bit slower and it doesn't make it so fast. This other one is similar to this one but it's the opposite effect. Just like the last one you want to bring them close to the other one. What you want to do is hold shift and drag this left one all the way to the right. And that will make it start slow and then gradually get faster. That also looks very smooth but I prefer the other way around. Personally my favourite one is the one where they're both near the middle. Again, that is just before the centre on the right one, and the left one is completely in the centre. As I said, it depends on the animation you want and it doesn't look good for all of them. Using the graph editor definitely makes the keyframes a lot smoother. It makes it look very professional too. Thanks for watching this video. If this did help you, then make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more videos like these. And also tell me what you want in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day and goodbye.